Traditional monarchies or chiefdoms still flourish in African republics today as subnational entities, and special constitutional provisions have been enacted to recognize them and increase their relevance in contemporary governance. Traditional authorities in post-colonial Africa are important players in a single, integrated modern political republican system, rather than opponents in a sharply bifurcated state. African traditional authorities have been gradually given a stamp of constitutional recognition in the African post-colony. The constitutionalization of African monarchies simply refers to the recognition and inclusion of kings, chiefs, and queen mothers into African Republican constitutional frameworks as relevant political actors in the overall governance processes in Africa. The politics of inclusion and dynamics of African monarchs in the new political dispensation have not been critically historicized and contextualized within the political dynamics of the post-colony and on a comparative continental basis to fully appreciate the trajectory of these phenomena. Since 18s, monarchies have slowly swayed away due to the rise of democratic system of governments. In this video, Dynasty Africa shades light on the only three surviving African monarchs in the modern era. And if you find our content interesting, please do subscribe. 3. Kingdom of Morocco Morocco, officially the Kingdom of Morocco, is the westernmost country in the Maghreb region of North Africa. It overlooks the Mediterranean Sea to the north and the Atlantic Ocean to the west, and has land borders with Algeria to the east and disputed territory of Western Sahara to the south. Inhabited since the Paleolithic era over 90,000 years ago, the first Moroccan state was established by Idris I in 788. It was subsequently ruled by a series of independent dynasties, reaching its zenith as a regional power in the 11th and 12th centuries, under the Almoravid and Almohad dynasties, when it controlled most of the Iberian Peninsula and Maghreb. Today, the monarchy is one of the only three African monarchies still standing. Muhammad IV, born 21 August 1963, is the king of Morocco. He belongs to the Alawi dynasty and acceded to the throne on 23 July 1999, upon the death of his father, King Hassan II. The king is situated at Dar el Maksan Palace and is the primary and official residence of the king of Morocco. It is situated in the Tuarga commune of Rabat, the national capital. Its official name is El Megor Essay Palace, which means the venue of Happiness Palace. The Alawite sultans and kings have maintained a palace in Rabat since the 18th century reign of Sultan Muhammad ben Abdullah, who used Rabat as one of his imperial residences and renovated royal palaces in other cities. The current building was built in 1864 by Muhammad IV to replace the older palace. Twelve more palaces are rumored to be widespread around the whole world. Today, King Mohammed IV is one of the most influential world leaders. <music> 2. Kingdom of Eswatini Officially the Kingdom of Eswatini and formerly named Swaziland, officially renamed in 2018, is a landlocked country in southern Africa. It is bordered by Mozambique to its northeast and South Africa to its north, west, south, and southeast. The government is an absolute monarchy, the last of its kind in Africa, and has been ruled by King Muswati III since 1986. Elections are held every five years to determine the House of Assembly and the Senate majority. The current constitution was adopted in 2005. Onlanga, the reed dance held in August-September, and Nguala, the kingship dance held in December-January, are the nation's most important events. Artifacts have been found indicating human activity dating back to the early Stone Age, around 200,000 years ago. Prehistoric rock art paintings dating from as far back as 27,000 years ago to as recent as the 19th century can be found in various places around the country. King Mswati was crowned as Mswati III Ingwenyama and King of Swaziland on 25 April 1986 at the age of 18, thus becoming the youngest ruling monarch in the world at that time. Together with his mother, Netfambi Fwala, now Queen Mother, and Lovukati, he rules the country as an absolute monarch. Mizwadi III is known for his practice of polygamy, although at least two wives are appointed by the state, and currently has 15 wives and 36 children. Today, King Mizwadi III is Africa's last absolute monarch in the sense that he has the power to choose the prime minister, other top government posts, and top traditional posts. His reign has no end. Lastly, Kingdom of Lesotho. Lesotho, 
Officially, the Kingdom of Lesotho is a landlocked country enclaved by South Africa. It is situated in the Melodi Mountains and contains the highest mountains in Southern Africa. Let's see the third born C. Sobering, 17 July 1963, as King of Lesotho. He succeeded his father, Mushushu II, who was forced into exile in 1990. His father was briefly restored in 1995 but died in a car crash in early 1996, and Letzi became king again. As a constitutional monarch, most of King Letzi's duties as monarch of Lesotho are ceremonial. King Letzi is a Catholic, the only such monarch of an African nation. He is a member of the sacred military Constantinian Order of St. George and has been credited with promoting the principles of his Catholic faith in Lesotho. King Letzi III is one of the most respected African monarchs having studied PPE at Corpus, matriculating in 1957. He is one of the most educated African monarchs. Thanks for watching.